Hey guys, Aaron here from Simply New England again. Welcome back to the channel. It's definitely been a while since I've done an install video, but today we have a special install on the 2021 Z-Force 950 Sport. Um, as you can see, I am wearing some gear from Three Star Industries. They were kind enough to send me the shirt, the hat, and not only that, but let's get on in here in the barn these guys also sent me a package and in this package is something that i am extremely excited about so probably about oh let's see uh, i'm gonna get these off get rid of some of that glare uh, i'd say about three weeks ago uh, i did a video on the differences between the 2021 z950 and the 2022 z950s uh, in that video, I had mentioned um, about wanting to upgrade to some new skid plates because, as Three Star likes to say, what comes under these things is like Tupperware, so remove them and put a Three Star product underneath your machine. Um, with that being said, I was just sitting around and I had received a message from Power Sports Productions on YouTube. So, big shout out to Justin. Uh, he had sent me a message, and at first, I was kind of like, all right, what did I do? Who did I offend? Why is Justin reaching out to me saying, hey, can I give you a call? <laughs> that was my first thought, Justin, just so you'll know. He gave me a call. It was good to hear his voice uh, in real life and not just in videos or over an instant message. But he had said, hey, the guys at Three Star, um, they saw your video and uh, they wanted to thank you for mentioning them in the video. So he said, they're gonna send you some things. So about a week later in the mail, I get a awesome three-star shirt. I get a really cool three-star hat. Uh, they also sent me an awesome three-star mug, which is inside. It's actually one of those containers that has the straw that's in it. So that was cool. And um, one of their really cool business cards. So not only that, but as you saw a minute ago, they sent me this box here. Now in this box, I'm going to go ahead and I will unbox it for you shortly. And when I do, I'll make sure I go fast forward mode so you're not spending the next half an hour watching me joyfully go through it. Uh, in there is a skid plate for the 2021 Z950. And again, like I had said a moment ago, the skid plate that comes with the Z950, and I love it three star by the way in your advertisement, is like Tupperware. So we're going to rip that sucker off. We are going to put this on and I will be having a whole new world of protection from underneath my machine. So bear with me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But before I move ahead, I want to thank Marky B for that really cool CF Moto sign and this one. Uh, he lugged that all the way down from some dealership in Maine and brought that to me. Also what I did here too to get under the machine, I did go to Harbor Freight and I did pick up these uh, Pittsburgh automotive ramps. Looks like they hold about 13,000 pounds. Should have no problem. The front tires will fit up on these perfectly. Uh, we did get this new light. So when I'm underneath, you guys have some better lighting. Uh, that is a sure built light for anybody that's interested. I will make sure to put the links to the products I purchased. And of course, Three Star Industries link down in the video description. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, support the channel. Uh, it's catching on. People are sending me some pretty cool stuff to show you guys. I'm really excited for the new year. After having a broken rib, having a bicuspid tooth get cracked by eating a milk dud, two years of COVID. Uh, you've seen that I've done videos, but the quality in my mind hasn't been where I've really wanted them. So moving forward, you guys are gonna see a lot of good installs. I've got about five more products to do uh, that I wanna show you guys over the coming months. Let me stop talking and let's get on to the install with this bad boy. Down. You 
come in this nice package everything is all sealed and wow that is nice so it looks like it does come in a few different pieces so we'll figure that out as we go That piece there. And then of course, you have the main piece here. Okay, let's talk about Three Star Industries for a second. Besides cool hats and shirts and cups, these guys make some really cool product. Um, this here, this skid plate is made out of half inch HDPE, which is a very strong plastic. Uh, a while back, I believe they were doing a quarter inch skid plate and they went to the half inch because they were not happy with the strength of the quarter inch. So that tells you a lot about this company. Uh, I believe they are in Carlisle, Kentucky. They are a locally owned business down there. They employ local folks. So you've got made and built in the U.S. by U.S. based workers. Uh, these guys have, from what I was reading in the site, some really excellent values. Uh, they strive to be big into the community. They do a lot of great fundraising. So it's a really good name for me to be here today presenting to you. Uh, again, even before they sent me anything free, I had no idea about anybody who worked there uh, other than seeing Justin talk about them on his YouTube channel. I started researching it, said, hey, that's the product I'm going to be going with when it comes time to get my skid plate. So I don't want you to think that I'm here just because they sent me something free. I was already intending on using their skid plates. As you can see, we've got three different pieces here. You have got the skid plate parts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the machine in. I'm going to put it up on the car ramp. I'm going to get underneath there, see what's going on. I'll show you how I uninstall the original plate. We'll look at how flimsy it is. CF Moto, if you're watching, work on those skid plates. Or maybe not, because we don't want to take business from these guys. Um, the other thing about Three Star Industries, it's not just CF Moto stuff. Uh, skid plates, enclosures, uh, clear see-through roofs, rear windows. They have the front windows. Uh, they make products for Polaris, Can-Am, Honda. CF Moto uh, and more. So I would definitely recommend that you go to their site, check out what they have to offer. Uh, it's a lot more than just skid plates. I think you'll be really surprised. Their name from what I can see is starting to grow in the industry. Uh, they have a lot of quality products. So I won't go on any further about that. I'm gonna get their skid plate installed and let it speak for itself.
Okay guys, so I got everything set up over there. So let's just first start here. First thing we have here is you've got 26 push nuts that come with this. You've got uh, 26 spacers. And of course, as we go, you'll see where these come into play. Uh, they give you 26 large washers, uh, 24 30 millimeter bolts, and then there's these two 40 millimeter bolts that are right here. Now, when these came in, I unpackaged them all. Everything was in its own separate baggie. Everything came very neatly packaged. Uh, three star guys, three star workers, shout out to you. Everything came as should. There's nothing missing. I counted everything. Uh, there's nothing worse than when you go into install something and you find parts missing. So out of the box, thumbs up. Okay. Now, the other thing that does come with this is the instructions. Uh, some people like to read instructions. <coughs> Justin <coughs> does not. Uh, I'm an instructions guy because, as I always joke around, if I can do this, you can definitely do this. Uh, I am not mechanical. Uh, I am getting better, as I say in a lot of the videos. Uh, I think for me, it's just a confidence thing with getting in there and doing stuff. Uh, as you can see, I'm more of a woodworking type of guy. Uh, I've got great tools and, and things to use. Uh, it's just, when it comes to mechanical... I always worry I'm going to screw up the thing that I love to work on. And, uh, I always worry I'm going to screw up the thing that I love to play on. So I tend to call on some friends like Marky B or I bring it right down to my local uh, dealership. But the instructions, as you can see, very clear. It tells you right here what, you, what it is that you're going to need to do. Uh, you'll have to remove the front fender plate. Uh, you'll need to prepare the panels with the bolts. You have your outside front panel. It tells you here everything the instructions as you can see they are pretty much foolproof uh, I won't go through every single page here and bore you but I did want to show you that these guys again they, the instructions with pictures with pictures now that's right down my alley see that Z950 came with pictures we can't mess this up we can't mess this up all right Hang tight. I'm going to position the camera underneath the machine so you guys get the best shot. I'll set the camera up to do a time lapse. That way, again, you're not spending an hour under here with me removing everything, but you'll be able to see exactly how it's done. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Should be no problem because we have pictures. Pictures. Did I say that? All right, enough. Here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to remove this existing skid plate right here and as you can tell it's flimsy plastic there are cracks on it there's a nice big crack right there back there I don't know if you can tell there's a big piece missing this here ready to go that's cracked all the way down there so when you pull this off I'm gonna recommend that you probably use some glasses because Unless your machine is brand new and completely clean, you're going to get a lot of dirt in your face. So let's go ahead and start undoing all these bolts. You can see here where they are, right here. Instructions first say let's take the old skid plate off and then we'll get to the metal skid plate up front which will go back on afterwards when we put this piece here back on and that's some good protection so clearly I do not want to get rid of that.
guys. So as you can see, here's the first piece that's off, full of crap. <coughs> very cheap, very crappy, thin plastic. All right, step one done. Let's go back to the drawing board. Let's get the rest of this done. So guys, this is also a really good time when you're under here to get everything cleaned up because when you put that new plate on, you're gonna see that a lot of crap's falling out from underneath here. You don't realize how much gets stuck up in between the plates and the uh, engine and drive components. Let's get this up on here. And there it is. You can see all this crap that's under here. Look at this. All that junk. You think you clean your machine. And it's good to get these underneath where the bolts are going to go in. Get that all cleaned so they go in nice without getting full of dirt and stripping on you. Okay. So now that that's off, let's go to the front. And we're going to remove the front skid plate. And that will complete the removal of the existing CF Moto skid plate. After I clean this up, which I won't show you that part. Why bother? We all know how to sweep and clean. At least most of us do. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this front plate off. As you can see, I already started it. Again, a lot, a lot of crap falling out from underneath there. So I already started this here. I don't think it needs much of an explanation. Just undo your bolts here, your Allen's. Just undo those. This is going to come crashing down as soon as I loosen them up because I already did the bottom ones. These are long. And here we go. And that's heavy piece. That's going to come crashing down. So be careful with this piece. Now I will go and clean this off in a little bit. Um, but I do believe this piece goes back on. This is what protects the winch. And it is metal, so you definitely want that back on. And again, we have more mess. Take the opportunity while you're in here to clean up under this. Why not? And then what we're going to do is that leaves this final piece of plate. Remove that. And that'll conclude our uninstall. And that is it. Look at that beautiful mess. Yeah, we won't be needing this. Let's get rid of it. All right, so guys, that was actually pretty easy. Um, it probably took me minus camera setup and doing things like that if you just go straight at it not filming a video not having to worry about angles of videos and all that junk this is probably going to take you about mm, 20 minutes at most to pull everything off as long as nothing's stripped which it shouldn't be if you've never removed it before so that was easy um uninstalling always is now the install might be a little bit more difficult because it's just me and i'm going to need multiple hands but we'll see how I do, and maybe it'll just be a big old comedy show for you. Let's see. And again, Three Star Industries, thank you for this hat and this shirt. It'll need a good washing tonight. But this hat has kept stuff out of my hair. So I appreciate that. I don't like when stuff gets in my hair. <laughs> okay, guys, now that that's all off, should anybody want a view of what this all looks like, when there is nothing on protecting the underneath this is it so you can see your drive shaft under there and your brake lines so that's what that plate's protecting so this is why i highly recommend a skid plate from three star industries you know a 350 dollars investment can save you thousands of dollars of repairs should something come up through that Tupperware ridden CF Moto skid plate 
and puncture something or rip through it. So that's it right there. And now we're gonna get on to the install. All right, so now that we have everything uninstalled, I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to take the front panel. Now notice the front panel, you have the drain hole up here, okay? So I'm gonna just show you how to do two of them because what they recommend is to go ahead and secure all of these bolts and washers and spacers on all of the parts first so that way when you go install, everything is ready to go. No need for me to walk you through 20 or 30 of these. I'm just gonna show you two. You'll notice that there's a recess here. Now the reason for this recess is when you go and take this and you install it this way facing up to your machine and screw these in, that's gonna leave you with a space here. So when your bolt and your washer are facing downwards, nothing can come in here and take this head off or impede in any way. Now, this is something that Three Star Industry clearly thought of. Um, thumbs up to Three Star for this. This was a really good afterthought. All right, so what we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna take you step by step. We're only gonna do two of these. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bolt and your large washer, slide it through. Then all you've gotta do, take your spacer, Take your push nut, push it down on. There's one. As you can see, there's the outside. Same thing again. Take your push nut. Be a little tricky to put on there, but it's going. Just push them down. And it's that simple. Okay, I'll go ahead and do one more. I lied, I'm gonna do three. Same thing. Flip it over. Put on your spacer. Here's your push nut. And you'll definitely find it easier if you just place them down on something like this, because then you can just push down. And there you have it. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to all of the pieces that I have. I'm gonna rinse, wash, repeat, do this over and over again until all of them are installed. And then I'll take you back to the machine itself and I'll install a few of the panels, show you how it's done. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how everything looks completely installed. On to the next step. What we have here is the skid plate itself, just laid out. You can see the front piece, the middle body piece, and then the piece that will be at the end.
Well, that is it. The install is done. Wasn't too bad. Uh, it would definitely be a little easier with two people when it comes to installing the long plate, but I managed to do it on my own, so it's definitely possible. Again, if I can do it, you certainly can. I want to thank Three Star Industries again for everything you sent me, the hat, the shirt, the cup, and of course, the skid plate. It is fantastic. I cannot wait to get out on the trail, see how well it works. No longer having to worry about things coming through the floorboard and spiking me in the side of the leg. <laughs> um, again, Justin, thank you for hooking me up with Three Star. I am more than happy with this skid plate. I hope you guys will tune in for the next video. Thanks for following along. Aaron here. Simply New England Off-Road. I'm out.